knowingly infecting others with HIV. Nadja Banaisa is a member of the girl band called No Angels, which represented Germany in the 2008 Eurovision Song Contest. She was charged with grievous bodily harm after a former partner who contracted the virus said she didn't tell him she was HIV positive. Lawrence Lee reports. Nadia Benaisa has lived with the glare of publicity for a decade, but never before like this. Once a member of Germany's biggest ever female pop group, she now stands trial after admitting she had sex with several partners without telling them she was HIV positive. Before proceedings in court began, a reporter asked her if she could describe how she felt. No comment. Still, her lawyer said that the fact of making her confession had been trying for her. I think this court hearing, all the public here, as you can see around me now, are not very easy. This is about intimate details which were pulled out into the public domain, and you may assume this wasn't very easy for her. It's a spectacular fall from grace for the 28-year-old who only a few years ago had the world at her feet. Her band, No Angels, sold five million albums, had several chart-topping singles, and were a huge success all over continental Europe. Now, though, one of the charges she faces is grievous bodily harm for allegedly infecting one man with HIV. He's due to give evidence in court. The case is controversial. AIDS campaigners argue that she shouldn't necessarily have been criminalized. One commentator in court also pointed out that her partner should also have borne some responsibility. I always wonder why there are allegations against a woman when a man doesn't use a condom. The singer has already apologized, she said, from her heart. Now though convicted, she faces a jail term of anything from six months to ten years. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera. Well, Lisa Power is the policy director at the Terence Higgins Trust. That's an HIV awareness charity based in the UK. She says she's not sure whether prosecuting Nadia Benaisa will actually accomplish anything. There is absolutely no proof whatsoever that prosecuting people for the transmission of HIV reduces onward transmission. And in fact, the country with one of the highest rates of prosecution, the United States, also has a hugely high rate of onward transmission. The fact is that if you have HIV and you're having difficulty managing safer sex, difficulty using condoms or getting someone else to use them, we need people to come forward and talk about that and get help, not to be scared that they'll be prosecuted. How common is this? that people have HIV and they simply don't tell their partners for whatever reason. Mm. But of course those cases don't end up in court. Well, the vast majority of cases don't end up in court. And one of the other problems that we have with these prosecutions is that they are incredibly random. Um, and uh, in the case of Nadia Benay, it's a very high profile, but incredibly random as to who is prosecuted. The fact is that most onward transmission of HIV is by people who haven't been diagnosed, don't yet know they have it. Um, but once people do know they have it, it may take time for them to come to terms with that diagnosis. They may even not realize initially quite how it gets passed on. They may think that the odds are lower than they are. And in fact, the odds of onward transmission are extremely low these days. If you're on treatment, you can be rendered uh, close to uninfectious. Um, so it's a very complicated situation these days for people.